your starter motor and of course your starter motor over here is grounded and the relay would have a coil that operated it and at the same time that it operates that contact I'm not gonna bother drawing all of it <laughs> it releases another another other sets of contacts so it connects these two batteries in series in one direction and then on the other direction it would connect them in parallel so it would they would be in series and then once your starter started it would disconnect both of these and then it would come over here and connect to this one and connect that one and then you would have your charging from your generator it's let's see it's longer than the alternator so that's why it's a generator and your generator would charge back up and so and also one of the things when you see those these are smaller wires and then there's one extra wire which is important in here when this pulls down into the series parallel there would be another contact set also and this would go over to the solenoid so that uh, your solenoid could kick on for your starter and they did that separate switch because they wanted to make sure that the series parallel was engaged before the coil kicked on you didn't want to kick the coil on and then try and make a series parallel switch or have it drawing high amperage through these uh, 10 gauge wires instead of the battery cables because that's all these were these were 10 or 8 gauge I don't yeah I've never seen any that were smaller than 10 gauge but anyway and so you'd have a uh, 12 and 24 volt on your truck part of that was uh, on equipment where it was running already on straight 24 volt charge 24 volt battery 24 volt lights you have problems uh, from legal because the, the we're worried about fires now nowadays with electric cars we have 500 volts out here on the road and I don't know what the laws are but uh, at this time it was illegal to run over 12 volt nominal on an automobile vehicle now people say oh I had an old Jeep I had an old military the military was exempt they had some of them that even had 36, but the normal was 24 volts. And if you buy one of those, since it was legal, if it came with a title, then you can license it and it's legal on the road, but they can't build them with the 24 volt back years ago. Um, what a lot of them have done today for the trucks is they've just gone to straight 12 volt. They've just gone bigger wires, starters that work better on 12 volts, and they've just gone straight 12 volts for a lot of the trucks today.